welcome back to my channel. I am doing my updated meal prep and planning today. I did one, I think it was a couple years ago. It's been quite a long time now, just thinking about it, wow. So yeah, I'm going to do an updated one and this one has some like really simple, yummy, delicious, healthy recipe that you can try yourself. Uh, it's very simple, it saves me a lot of time, it saves me money and it's just very, very convenient, a nice way to simplify your lifestyle instead of just buying a whole bunch of food and letting it rot in your fridge, which I have been doing, um, I just take some time out of my day and prep enough for three to four days, and then I would make a new batch afterward. So I hope that you're going to love today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. For the base of all my bowls, I like to use quinoa just because it's high in protein, and I'm going to make a whole bunch of this and then set it aside to cool down. Next, I'm going to steam fry my kale, but you can pretty much use any vegetables of your choice. So the way I steam fry this is that I just chop this up after washing, and then I pour in some water in the hot pan. And then once it steams up, I add in some salt, I cover it so that way it can soften. And then when it's softened and easy to stir, then I just stir it with a spatula. Uh, I usually like to cook my vegetable halfway because I would usually reheat my food afterward. I would take it out of the container and then reheat it on my plate. Once the quinoa and kale cools down, I then put it into the container. And now we're on to making the curry. In a hot pan, I'm going to pour in some olive oil and then some minced garlic. Once you can smell the garlic, then add in some pearl onions. And again, everything that I'm using, it's optional. You know, you can always use something else in replacement to uh, if you don't have the same thing. Next, add in two cups of water, then a tablespoon of curry powder. Instead of using cornstarch to thicken the sauce, I'm using something that is more natural. So here I'm using a tablespoon of arrowroot powder and then I'm mixing it into the liquid. Before the sauce boil, add in your vegetables. I like to use sweet potato chunks. You could use yam, you can use regular potatoes. I like to add in some carrots. For the seasoning part, I like to use two teaspoons of sea salt and then I use one tablespoon of mushroom seasoning. I also like to use some raisins, but you don't have to use that. I just love the flavor that it gives off. And then lastly, I like to use about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Instead of using coconut milk, the coconut oil is lighter and it just it's not as heavy. So let your curry slowly simmer at a medium low and then once your vegetables are halfway cooked, add in some frozen peas. Mix that in there. You don't want to overcook your vegetables because again, you will heat this again. Um, but just mix that in and then once the peas are nice and hot and mixed in with everything, then you want to turn off the stove and just let your curry sit and cool down. After the curry is cooled down, go ahead and add it into your container containers right over the vegetables and quinoa. I made curry before, but I switch up the recipe this time around and I have to say I love, love this recipe a lot more than my last recipe and it's delicious, it's so good, you've got to try this. You can add in other proteins, other vegetables, just have fun and be creative with this whole process. For this next idea, we're going to make some puttanesca sauce. You can use this for any kind of protein or vegetables, whatever you like. This is just very flavorful and it's a dish that I never get tired of. So I love this. I start with some garlic and then after the garlic browned up, I add in some Kalamata olives. So I usually cut up the olives into little pieces so that way it can blend into the sauce. But first I just like mix this with the garlic and it gives off a nice flavorful scent and smell to it. It smells so good. Garlic and olives sounds like a weird mixture, but it smells amazing. And once you start to smell that, you want to add in the tomato sauce. I'm using marinara sauce in with this, and I'm just gonna mix in everything. Once I mix that in, I am now going to use some capers. And this will add in a nice burst in flavor. So mix that together, let it sit and simmer for a bit. Once you see the sauce bubbles up, go ahead and turn that off. Let it cool down a little bit. Now you want to start with your protein. I'm going to use this corn chicken 
cutlets, which is meatless, and it's soy free. So I add this into the pan and then I'm going to add the sauce right over this. For vegetarians, I recommend for you to bake this for 10 minutes with the lid and 10 minutes without the lid. If you will bake this with meat, then make sure to bake it for double the time frame. Make sure to let everything cool down before you add it into your container. As you can see, I'm still using the same base, the quinoa and the same side vegetables. It just makes things more convenient for me, less prep time, and it's still delicious because I have like something that's different and consistent. So I made about six to seven containers all together. I may or may have not eaten one. <laughs> um, so yes, this would last me about three to four days. And then after three to four days, I would like to make a fresh batch. If you want this to last long, than make more in quantities um, but if you want to freshen up like midweek then just make it in smaller quantities thank you so much for watching and joining me today make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with the world uh, I hope that you enjoy these recipes if you do make sure to come back and let me know have a great day love you ciao